Aloha! I wonder what's coming up next. Let's see. Oh, we've got a weeknight update with Ellie Mueller. Then the morning show starting uh, Rebel Wilson and extremely early with Edward Scott. That's all still to come at Nick and Night. Aloha! From the gorgeous YouTube dojo and no Jimmy Fallon did not try to host this show. I mean, come on, what is wrong with you, huh? It's weak now, they were little you. And now, the man who is much better late night host than Jimmy Fallon and pretty much all the uh, current uh, late night uh, all the hosts. Really, the all the other ones. Well, wait a minute. Who am I getting? He's better than all the current late night talk the hosts. There you go. Mr. Ellie Cogni Mueller! Ha! Welcome to Week Now Update. I am Ellie Cogni Mueller, boys, all the out. Come on, everybody, come on! Hey, boss, how are you feeling? I'm feeling great. How about yourself? I'm feeling terrific. Breaking news! The uh, WJ writers are uh, working again. Yes, the strike has ended! That's right, they have just uh, reached the deal with the AMPCP you know, over the weekend, and that means that right now, all the Hollywood writers are working again. Yeah, now we just gotta deal with the actors and actresses who are still on strike. Eh, don't worry, they'll probably uh, go back to work, you know, at some point, you know, between now and the end of uh, the year. Meantime, Let's uh, go over this week's account of the week question. Now, you know how we do this, right? I ask you a question on my community tab. You have two days to answer it. You know, and the winners uh, will have their uh, comment pinned, and they will be eligible to become uh, grasshopper of the year at the end of the year. We're really getting close. Now, with Halloween being a month away, you know, you can't help but uh, realize that a lot of people are afraid of all But, here's the thing, right? Some people are afraid of other things besides Halloween. So, with that in mind, I must ask, what are you afraid of? All right, because Halloween is coming up. Now, go over to the community tab post and please respond to that question. All right? You know, and I'll be uh, looking very, very, very carefully at all of your responses, all right? So, please, please, please make sure that your responses are unique, interesting, and above all, honest and personal. Well, not too personal, but you know what I mean, right? Now, the theme song was composed by Dominic Mathis Piano, the color being cool, the camera lady, and Eva 2004 responsible for most of the things you're going to see in here on this program tonight. And, uh, um, and there are also our shout out winners, so please give it up uh, for them. You know, check them out. Uh, our other show spotlight winners are Never Power Nine, The Rockets, Bob McKenna Show, Bob McKenna, Alice White E. Backup Channel, Alice the Halloween Fan, Marvin Maniac, Dr. Blood Studios, Cassie Dragon, Sophie Angelic Dragon, and of course, Master Joe on the VA camp. All right, I think that we have that taken care of. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to get this thing started. What's up? Here we go. What is up? 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 What's up with Jimmy Fallon? A man who might lose a Tonight Show before the end of the decade. But that could mean good news for me. He recently found himself in hot water when his staff members reported him no, for harassment, or for harassment, and things like that. Wow, that's bad. <laughs> the other hosts are scared now. Oh boy. Hold on, he did apologize to his team. Wait, is he trying to save his job? It's a little too late for that. Work for Nick Cannon, not for you, Jimmy. Oh boy.
And now it's time for another top eight list. Burgers, MP, I need your help with this one. Here we go. Does everybody know what time it is? Is it time for something that involves a weeknight update? That's correct. It's time for our top eight. Yeah, top eight to know what the top eight things are. Yeah, it's going to be great. Oh, I'm so excited. I wonder what the top eight is going to be this time. Well, we're going to have to figure it out. Well, Ellie's going to figure it out. Yeah, Tom, it's absolutely so. Well, then, what are we waiting for? Take it away, Ellie! Yeehaw! Thanks, boss. Nice guy, boys. Top eight jobs that Jimmy Fallon might do or might get if he gets fired from the Tonight Show in the not too distant future. Number eight, dog trainer. Number seven, teacher. Number six, juggler. Number five, volunteer at the park. Number four, barber. Number three, prison warden. Number two, police officer. And number one, zookeeper. That was very interesting, huh? <laughs> yes, indeed. Thank you, boys. You know the drill. Hashtag it's not there. Hashtag it's not there. Hashtag it's not there. Hashtag it's not there. Hashtag it's Get those things to turn on social media, please. And while you're at, like the scene, subscribe, ring the bell, share, make the chat with the comment section down below. Yes, indeed. Still have a lot to do and so little time. When we return, we'll have Edward Scott. We'll have Special Delivery. We'll have Multiple Sensibility Choir and Organ Time. All of this was more fun than humans are allowed to have. I have to these words. This is still weak now. Okay, now here it is. Goodbye, right? Hey, Terry, it's fall. Get ready for pumpkin flavored everything. Oh, God. Oh. Uh, cannibalism. A lot of advertisers tell you to shop around for carpeting. Shop everybody else first, they say, then shop us. Well, at Empire, we say shop us first. You'll save a lot of time. You won't get a better value anywhere else. You won't get 72-hour delivery either. You won't get a free Bissell shampooer, and you won't get Empire's great credit terms. If you want the best price on good brand name carpeting delivered in 72 hours, you got to come to Empire. So why not call us first? 588-2300, Empire. Scott and the boys. Hi, Ed. Hey, boss. How you feeling? I'm doing all right. Yes. Can you believe it? The writers are back to work in Hollywood. Yeah, but not the actors and actresses. True, but I'm sure they'll uh, find a way of getting something, you know, for themselves before the end of the year. You think so? Well, we can only pray and hope at this point. That's a good idea. Hey, when are we going to see a new episode of Special Delivery? Well, we're going to see a new episode of Special Delivery right now. And buckle up, ladies and gentlemen, because this is going to be fantastic. <laughs> Trick or Sweet Bear. 
And guess what? Halloween is coming up. It's my favorite holiday ever. So I'm going to give you some Halloween tips to absolutely help you make your Halloween all spectacular. <laughs> So, for today's tip is pumpkins. Yes, that's right. Make so sure that you get a pumpkin that is not too cold. Trust me on this one. You have to totally knock at your pumpkin to make sure if your pumpkin is just right or too cold. Because the Color Bini crew absolutely got a pumpkin that is too cold and they were gonna microwave it. So, do not microwave it. That is a big no, 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 no for that. So, that's all the tips that I have for today. Make so sure you absolutely stay tuned for more tips of Trick or Sweet Bear. Goodbye! That was brilliant. And now, the Monta vs. Village Choir. Here we go. That was a great performance. But now, it's time for a little talking time. Here we go. All right, partners, do you know what time it is? That's right, it's talk time where he talks about what he's going to talk about. So let's talk about it. Yeah! 
As some of you may or may not know, Jimmy Fallon has gotten himself into a lot of trouble. Why? Well, let's put it this way, okay? He was accused of being drunk at work and exhibiting, excuse me, erratic behavior. Yeah. You know, it, it is just insane. You know, you know, pay attention to this, all right? You know, like he scolded a crew member, you know, who was holding uh, the cue cards for Jimmy, you know, what like in the middle of a show, you know, with guest Jerry Seinfeld. You know, and two employees, uh, you know, uh, caught him doing it. Actually, two other employees. And they called it uncomfortable. Seinfeld said that it wasn't uh, uncomfortable at all. You know, as a matter of fact, Jerry even teased Jimmy about a mistake and things like that. You know, so I don't know what was going on. But he has uh, gone through several uh, showrunners, you know, as far as the Tonight Show is concerned. So, I don't know. This, I don't know what's going on. Now, he did apologize to his staff. But, oh boy, you know, he did apologize to his staff, but I just, I don't know. I mean, he said, it's embarrassing and I feel so bad. Sorry if I embarrassed you and your family and your friends. I feel so bad, I can't even tell you. I want this show to be fun, it should be inclusive for everybody, it should be funny, it should be the best, you know, the best people. You see, don't pay any attention to Jimmy Fallon or the other current late night talk dogs. You know, uh, or at least those who aren't me, of course. Because those guys are lying. NBC executives, you know, aren't uh, speaking up when it comes to uh, this uh, issue. So I don't know what's going on. And yet, People are still saying, you know what, nobody told Jimmy no. Everybody walked on eggshells, even showrunners. You know, and it was just a nut house. Most of the uh, employees on tonight show even said that Jimmy was known to throw a hissy fit now and again. And there was even a cry room on set, you know, for the employees uh, to decompress. Oh boy, I can only imagine how bad all the late night talk shows are behind the scenes. Well, thank you so much for watching tonight. Tomorrow night, we're going to talk about Rebel Wilson. Then on Wednesday, ooh, Don Mendez. Thursday, Candace Cameron Bure. And then on Friday, Chris Evans and Mal Stalker will uh, join us. You know, hopefully. All right, along with the car vehicle, the kind of lady and gave what happened in 2004. And they're going to be on this uh, program all this week. Folks, I tried to make this show perfect. And once again, so many mistakes have popped out. Luckily, I was able to edit most of the uh, mistakes from uh, the final plot. All right, folks. Well, that's the news. I'm out. Please throw all my balls.